everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. So I've done my favourite Baroque pieces and my favourite contemporary pieces in the past. It's time for something that a lot of you have been asking for, my favourite Renaissance pieces. The Renaissance, we're roughly looking at music from the 15th and 16th centuries. However, when I compiled my favourite pieces, um, I found a lot of them are from the very late Renaissance. What does that say about me? I don't know. <laughs> so this is a mixture of solo, consort and chamber music that I love. It will probably be different to a list I would make next week, but yes, hello, this is today. The first one is by John Dowland, English Renaissance composer, and it is called Semper Dowland, Semper Dolence. Now, Dowland liked to compose very, very melancholy music, and this title actually means always Dowland, always suffering. <gasps> His music was full of pain and tears and clashes in the harmony, and this one is just so beautiful. <laughs> There are two parts that are just so beautiful to me. The first is this uh, rising passage where two of the voices alternate going up a note. And the second is in the last section with this really strange uh, just listen. It's from a book of Dowlands called The Lacrimae, which was a collection of, I think, 21 different pieces, scored for five instruments, such as recorders, plus lute you could play the optional lute part on a keyboard instrument and then play the top line yourself as a, like melody and accompaniment. It's up to you. Last week I was tutoring on a recorder summer school in the north of England and I conducted this piece with 130 recorder players. If you were there, hi. The next is something very different. Giovanni Bassano, his Ricciccare for solo instruments. Richard had a quarter, number four is my favourite. I know this is the most popular one, but it is popular for a reason, and that reason is it's the best one. Richard had a quarter is the one that opens like this. Published in 1585, Bassano wrote of kind of basically a tutor book on how to play all of these ornaments, divisions, cadences, passages with eight pieces called ricciccare that were ready to play. What Bassano does with these ricciccare is basically explore a mode, a scale, with ornaments. So they're a nice challenge but it's not too impossible. And it's fun! My next piece is actually a two-parter for reasons I will explain. The first one is the Spagnoletta by Michael Praetorius. The whole piece with all of the voices sounds like this. I usually play it faster, but it's beautiful like this. This piece is from a book called The Terpsichore, um, a collection of around 300 dancers. And they could have been played in matched or broken consort. What does this mean? A matched consort is all of the same instruments, like recorders. A broken consort is a mixture of instruments. 
And I like to pair this dance with a completely different piece, The Fairy Round by Anthony Holborn. from a large collection of Pavans, Galliards and other dancers by Holborn. Why do I pair these two dancers together? Well, I used to play them in an ensemble when I was a student and as a very romantic 19 year old, I thought, oh, I want to have these at my wedding. Entering the wedding space with Spanioletta, dum dum da dum tum da dum tum tum, and then exiting again, married to the person of my choosing, I don't know if I even believed in the institution of marriage, but I was ready with the playlist. Next up is a piece by a composer from the Midlands of England, like me. Um, it is Nathaniel Giles and his piece Salvatore Mundi. Now, if you heard this piece or looked at the music, you would not believe it's from the Renaissance. There is a ground bass just made up of whole notes. Dum, 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 dum. And the two voices on top play in all rhythmic proportions. So not only divided into triplets, but five against three and seven against four and basically everything against everything. I will try and play you a bit with my metronome. The Sour Cream Trio, made up of Franz Bruggen, Kees Boeken and Walter van Hauer, have recorded this. This track is actually from a whole album called The Passion of Reason with all of these mathematically complex medieval and renaissance tracks, tracks, pieces. And my last piece is very late renaissance, pretty much early baroque, which is a nice way to end this video. The songs of Caccini, specifically my favourite one is called Fili Mirando il Cielo. originally for voice and accompaniment, they are songs with a text, but I think they work beautifully on the recorder. If you can find yourself a lute or theorbo player, that is amazing, but otherwise with a keyboard or a guitar it can work really nicely. I can imagine that you want to hear how it actually sounds with a singer, so I'll put some links in the description and links to all of the pieces I've mentioned to where you can listen to them and if I know the answer to where you can buy them. If you see any gaps, please help me fill them in. Okay, bonus round, two more pieces that I didn't mention. The Canzona Passaggiata, Canzona Passaggi by Notari and basically anything by Gesualdo. Well, those were my favourite Renaissance recorder pieces for today. Uh, as always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here, and don't forget to click on the bell icon, you'll get notifications when I post. Down here is a link to the Team Recorder Patreon where you can choose to support the channel, and up here is a link to my five favourite Baroque pieces while we're at it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.